What is up YouTube? How are you doing today? It is Big Al here yet again. And you're probably wondering to yourself, what the fuck is this shit? This, my friend, is Call of Duty Classic. Basically where it all originated from, if I do believe. Um, I found out that if you, depending on what ethnicity you are, depends on what guns you can get. Um, so I picked the German, I think it was, and right now I'm using the CAR-98, uh, no scope. And, uh, no, I'm not no scoping, but no scoping is actually pretty easy on here. Um, but anyway, it, it's really fun, actually. Like, I had a lot of fun playing it. It did take a very long, ridiculous amount of time to find a match, but I kind of, kind of expected that. Um... It is a pretty long gameplay. I, it was about 15 minutes long, and I, I cut about five minutes out of it. Uh, but I mean, you can you can go in there and do different things with it. They actually have a lot of a lot of weapons that resemble uh, World at War weapons, if I do believe correctly, such as the the Car 98, the Thompson. Uh, they have the MP40, and they also have the MP44. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it was a really fun game. I really enjoyed playing it. Played maybe about 10 different games on it. But uh, look at this pistol. This pistol's fucking retarded looking. But uh, <laughs> look at it. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, I liked it though. I mean, they kept it simple. You know, you could pick up health packs on the ground and shit to restore your health instead of just, you know, gradually regaining it. Uh, and to me, to me, I like that better. Not really sure why, but I just did. <laughs> um, no perks, no attachments, no shit like that. You know, so basically, what it is is bare bones. But uh, there's there's the weapons for the the German guy, and uh, switch to the MP40. I mean the MP44. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh, one thing I did like about this game that I really hope that they bring back is the fact that you can change the way the weapon shoots and by that I mean the mp4 you can switch to a fully automatic or you can switch it to a single shot weapon and uh, I really enjoy being able to do that you know because there's situations up close where you want fully automatic and then situations where a guy could be across the map and you know you'll have to keep tapping the right trigger tapping the right trigger but you're still missing because your shots are just going everywhere so being able to switch to that single shot definitely will help your shot and help your performance overall. Probably your accuracy a whole lot too. So that was that's another thing that they I think they should bring back in Modern Warfare 3. Um, and also another thing I noticed in this game, the guy, the death icon on the left there reminded me of this. There's no knifing on this game. You Basically what you do is you butt stock or stock hit somebody, whatever you want to call it. I think I tried to do it on this guy right here. And I'll back away and hit fire. Um, but yeah, I don't know, there's something weird about that. I, I hope they bring that back, because that was, <laughs> that was really enjoyable. But uh, here's the MP44. It was actually a pretty fun weapon. I enjoyed using it. Definitely a big switch off of some other weapons. But that was actually a part that I cut out because there's this big long stretch back there and I don't know, it was fucking retarded. I got stuck and <laughs> basically sat back there for about three minutes. But uh But anyway, some other topics I want to talk to you guys about. I did lose in the commentator March Madness. I lost to somebody who sang a song and in my opinion I thought it was commentator March Madness, not American Idol. But Hey, what are you going to do? I mean, it's over, it's done with, and move on to the next thing. As long as you guys like me and appreciate me, that's all that matters. And as long as I can make you guys happy, that's that's really all I'm worried about. Um, as far as the Booster Buster thing goes, I did make it. I am now officially teamed up with Lost in Place, Reggae Panda, and Joker, and we're going to be busting the shit out of some boosters. If you guys aren't already subscribed to it, you should go check out X Booster Busters X. Uh, I will leave a link in the description for that. Um, for those of you who didn't see the video, 
I will be live streaming the Escalation Zombies map, Call of the Dead. We will be streaming that live upon release of the map pack. Uh, so far, I think I think it's going to break down to being me, Mr. Nappy Boy 92, MT 200, and Big Country. And I will leave links for all of those people in the description. They all have YouTube channels. Nappy's up to 820 subs, some, some shit like that. MT's got about 110, and uh, Big Country, he's got he's got just about a thousand subs. But uh, like I said, this is this is pretty fucking long gameplay. But I don't know shit to talk about. But uh, we will be live streaming that, and we will be having loads of fun. Uh, they did, they did release a video of the new maps. For those of you who didn't see that, basically from the picture, it kind of looks. It's a real snowy map. They have a lighthouse, which makes me think that it's going to be on like a uh, boating dock. And uh, I don't know. It's it's weird looking. It definitely looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, and definitely have a lot of interesting shit on it. I'm trying to decide though if while on the live stream when the game when it first comes out if I want to search for an Easter egg or try to get high around. So that's that's one thing that I'm gonna be deciphering on what I wanna do. So maybe I might leave it up to you guys, whatever you guys want me to try to find. Um But yeah. We will be doing that. Oh, sorry, you had a fucking on tired of shit. Um Oh, and guess what else I did today? I traded in Homefront and Black Ops. And you're never going to guess what I got. Well, I'm going to tell you. Just because you can't answer me. But I did give you a second there. Uh, I, I got NASCAR 2011. Yes, I know. Call me a fucking redneck. But, I don't know. I like, I like circle track racing. Uh, actually, here locally, they got a... Uh, I got a dirt track, and I try to check out check it out as often as possible. I have a lot of a lot of fun doing that. And uh, my girlfriend's dad, she 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 listened to me. He used to race crate late models, no, just crate models. And uh, back in his day, he was he was pretty good at it. You know, he's got a lot of trophies to show for it and all that shit. So um, another thing I want to talk about was uh podcasting. I'm probably going to start doing a podcast with a guy named Sfindi. Um First couple episodes we're just going to post up on YouTube, but after that I think we're going to start putting them on iTunes just to broaden our audience and for some people that actually like to listen to just podcasts and not really watch gameplays. Because a guy like me, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, like to me, KD doesn't really bother me. And there was the stock cut, by the way. Um, KD doesn't really bother me. My KD on Black Ops is like a point seven, and my KD on Modern Warfare 2 is like a two point something. Um, I'm not really much of a KD person. I'm more of just, you know, going after the win. And uh, to me, a commentary, as long as, if I can sit and listen to you, I'm going to I'm going to give you that view, you know. I listen to commentaries on my way to work and back home. You know, I'll be driving and I'll be like, well, hey, I wonder who posted up a video, posted up a commentary. And I'll just plug in my phone to my radio and listen to the commentary while I'm driving. Just because I like to hear what people have to say, you know. So, to me, KD doesn't really matter. Um, you probably won't find too many fucking 60 and 5 games for me. You probably definitely won't be finding that shit unless... I just have a godly day, um, which if I, if I do get something like that, don't get me wrong, I will post that video up online for uh, for you guys to see to share that with y'all. But but yeah, <laughs> um, kind of like that domination thing where I post that video where I was playing domination and had like fucking eight or ten caps going knife only with uh, just capturing domination points. I went negative, but at the end of the game, you know, we won. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, let's see. Alright, sorry about all that mumbling. I had to pause that. Um, light up a cigarette. 
but uh, like I said, I bought NASCAR 2011. I don't know if I have any racing fans out there, but uh, if you are a racing fan and want me to post some videos up of me racing, uh, I will do so. And also another game that I have is uh, Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleashed. And uh, if you guys want to see my cars that I got on there, if you want me to like do a video on my garage or whatnot, just uh, let me know. I'll, I'll show you that. I actually got a pretty nice Lamborghini. I gave it the works upgrade. It's, it's pretty fucking beastly. And definitely, both, well, I can't speak about NASCAR yet. I haven't played it, but I have seen a few videos on it. It does look really cool, really good. I played, I played NASCAR a lot back in the PS2 days. But, uh, Shift, Shift 2, it's a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy playing it. I played it online for the first time. I was actually able to find a match and did did pretty good. And I started doing some circle tracks, and that's what made me think NASCAR 2011. So I hit it up. But you see, like right there, for example, I, I know I keep switching back and forth between the gameplay and other shit. But uh, that single fire helped me get a couple hits on him while I was far away, and then I switched back to the fully automatic and went for the kill. But like I said, leave in the comments if you guys want me to uh, post videos on NASCAR or Shift 2. And the, the final kill was fucking silly. Like, I don't know, I quick scoped the guy and he it didn't even show the shot. But until next time, guys, it's Big Al, and I'm out. Peace.